Hey guys, this is my first shot at like an actual video, but I wanted to share way too much information that would take way too long to read in a blog post, so here it goes. So what I want to talk to you about today is a couple of things that I obsessed with all last month. I have a tendency to like do the same thing all month, like if I buy a shirt I like, I'll wear it every single time it's clean. But <laughs> so I wanted to put a post together of all those things. So this month there have been a few things that I've had like that I either use every day or things that I've been crazy about. So this is one of them. It's a book by Christopher. I don't want to butcher his last name, so I'll just let you read it. Um, it's called The Unchangeable Spots of Leopards. I read this book back in high school and it was really good. So I read it again and I'm just as equally obsessed. It's just so smart and clever and you have to really like know your literature to be able to understand this book. Um, makes it a little bit difficult to read, I guess, if you don't usually read things. But if you read, read this. It's really good. And it's not very long. If you've ever had a great love, you will love this book. Kuda's making like these really nasty sounds right now because she's looking at her gong toy because I put peanut butter in it. It's really gross. Kuda. <laughs> anyway, the next thing I want to talk to you about is this lovely stuff. It's by Not Your Mother's. The only hair products I really use is by them. Um... It's called In a Heartbeat Blow Dry Accelerator. I usually take like an hour and a half to blow dry my hair because it's so thick and it used to be like down to my butt, but it's kind of shorter now. But this stuff, I definitely noticed a difference when I was blow drying my hair. It definitely didn't take me as long to do it. But the thing that I love about it is that if I don't do anything with my hair, it doesn't get frizzy. But if I blow dry my hair, it'll get like, like I look like I stuck my finger in a light socket frizzy. But if I put this stuff in it, it stays smooth, it stays straight. Like, I didn't do anything with my hair for this because I'm lazy. Side note. But <laughs> if I put this in it before I blow dry it, it, I notice a difference. And it's nice and soft. And it keeps my hair really moisturized. I have, like, naturally a little bit wavy hair, as you can see. And usually with that comes dry hair. So this definitely helps. And if I put it on, I don't feel like I have product in my hair. Like, I hate the heavy, weighed down feeling. Like, that's why I don't usually put anything in my hair. Like, I won't even use dry shampoo. I tried it. And I even, I tried the Not Your Mother's Dry Shampoo. And, by the way, it was awesome because it, you, like, spray it in. You can't even see it. You don't need to, like, mess it up to get it to go away. It doesn't leave white residue in your hair. But I still just feel, I don't know, I feel gross. Like, I have to just take a shower. <laughs> Weird. But it's wicked inexpensive too. Like I think I paid four dollars, and this has lasted me the whole month so far. And I don't, I don't know. It's probably down to there, and I use it every single time I blow dry my hair. So I only have one more beauty product for you today. So this is it. Help if I turned it the right way. But it's a BB cream. I didn't use to put anything on my face. I just would like put a little bit of powder on. I used the Mac powder. Um, but my friend Bray, hi got me into using this. Um, she used a different one that made me break out like crazy. Like I put it on and two hours later I had breakouts. So that kind of drove me away from the whole idea of putting anything on my face ever again. But it has SPF, but as far as I know, it only comes in one color, the light medium shade, which is why I think it's great for summer because you need a little bit of a tan to be able to pull it off without looking like, like you're wearing something. Let's just say it without looking like you stuffed your face in some Cheetos. I tried the Physician's Formula because it's for people who have sensitive skin. I have sensitive skin, which is why I don't usually put anything on my skin. But this is great, and it has argan oil right in it, so it keeps my skin moisturized all day. I have naturally dry skin. But it's relatively inexpensive. I think I paid $13 for it at Walmart, but I know you can get it online for cheaper. I wish I'd thought of that sooner. Next, I just want to show you some pieces of clothing that I've been crazy about. These are the shirts that I was talking about that as soon as they come out of the wash I wear them. So there's this top. It's literally just a plain white tank top but I love that it has these little straps on top. Really into the little strappy thing that's going on right now. But it's from Arrow which I don't usually shop there. Both these shirts are actually from places I don't usually shop. It was really inexpensive like I think I paid like two dollars for it. 
Um, I got it at the outlets, but still, I'll link it below. But it's really cute to wear under like kimonos or ponchos or anything like that this summer, especially on a rainy day like today when you have no idea what to wear. Just throw that under a long sleeve or like a flannel and you're good to go. The second to last thing I have for you today is from Hollister, which to be honest, I haven't shopped there in years, but we went in just for fun. And actually we went in because they had a, like a 40% off sale going on, so it was worth it. But I paid $15 for this shirt and you've probably seen it on my Snapchat if you follow me on Snapchat because I wear it all the time. But it's really cute. It's nice and simple, just like everything else that I own because I don't ever branch out or wear color. Um, but I really like the lace-up detail, as you can see, a little trend I have going on. But it's really, like, form-fitting, but it's not super showy. Like, it doesn't come up. I usually wear it with jeans that are, like, a little bit high-waisted because I don't like to show off a whole lot. Modesty. But it's really comfy, and it's really cute, and I got it in two colors, so don't judge me. <laughs> The last thing I have is this cute little clutch, which was $8, and I got it at Forever 21, and if you've been keeping up with the blog post, you saw it on um, that post where I did with that front tie romper that tied right here, the black one. I'll link that below as well, but I love this because it was so cheap, but it, oh, there's a penny. That's how broke I am, but it actually has pockets like usually when you get a cheap clutch they don't have anything inside them you just open them and there's two pockets but this has like a side pocket here a side pocket here it has a whole bunch of places for credit cards and it has two pockets here so I like that there's actually some substance to this and it's really cute like it's just pretty simple like everything else but it comes in like four or five different colors and I think you can only buy it in pink online if I remember correctly pink and maybe black but you can still get it in store which I would because if you're just gonna get this why pay seven dollars for shipping when it's seven dollars so I literally use it all the time I have a coach wallet that I my sister got me when I was in like 10th grade that I use all the time but this is the only other one I'll use. So I usually keep all my big stuff in there. And then like if I'm just going out and need something quick, I'll throw a little bit of money in here. And my license and I'm good to go. Thank you for watching my first video. I'll link to all my social media below as well as the full blog post if you want to see that. The product links are below as well. <laughs>